The red carpet and runways often dictate our beauty trends and something that's huge at the moment is dramatic eyes with false eyelashes on them. But it's quite a hard thing to nail when it comes to beauty. So I'm Cherie from Rescue TV and today I've got Michael Brown who is a makeup expert and you are going to show me how to use them and the different ways that they come. So what are we going to be applying today? I mean, lashes, like you said, huge trend at the moment, you know, from different styles of lashes. And I think, you know, once again, if you have that, that you know, false lash effect, you know, that, that kind of fluttery lash, it's very feminine, very sexy. And, and almost you don't need any other eyeshadow because the lashes are bolder, they're, they're bigger, and plus the eye looks more open. So you use a bit of a lip on that and it's done. So it's quite an easy look, but it's the application of the actual false lash. All right, so then what's the best way to apply them? Well, we have different types of lashes from the traditional uh, strip lashes, which you can see here, and they come in many different sizes and shapes. You can get half size, you can get full feathers now, but obviously for a more day wear, it's just a simple strip. But also the flares are quite popular. Now these are great, you know, like over the years I've used them a lot for bridal or for just really simple flicks on the edge, which means it, it kind of fills the lashes in the little gaps you may have between them, which is great for like one or two, or you can do a full strip with them. These are quite easy because you just dip the little end, the little bubble of them, into a bit of glue and please stick them on. It's a strip that can be a little bit more difficult. So I can show you maybe um, like a half strip for you. Beautiful, so if you're starting out, maybe going with the single lashes is your best bet to begin the with? flares are great because as long as that glue is on the little bauble where the hairs join, it's just basically sticking them right where the edge of your skin and lash join. So it's quite simple to do. And whether you want one or two as a little simple flick or a full strip is great. But we'll show you today. Now, there's many different glues and most lashes when you buy the, the lash has glue with them. But my, one of my favorite brands is Duo because I know it's never gonna come off. Nothing more tacky than seeing a girl out on a Saturday night and the lash is flicking up. So make sure Remember they're sealed that. down. <laughs> so tiny bit of glue just on the uh, palm. And tweezers are great because they're easy, you know, to remove them from the packet. But there are brands like Shilvera, for example, that actually has a lash applicator, which is so simple. So I can actually dip the end of that into the glue and then use that part of it to run it across the strip. So I'm just going to use these half, half strips rather than a full strip for you. So for example, if I get the lash and if I just run that glue on the very tip, don't want to heavily apply too much glue because the more glue there, the longer it takes to dry. So just, just so you can see it's coated. Okay. And then with the other side, this applicator is actually curved the same shape as your eye. So you can actually place it on very, very simply. So if I grab that with the lash applicator and close. Now with the edge of your eyelashes, that, that's where you want the lash strip to finish. And just place very lightly in there. And with the tip, I can just very gently push the edges in. Therefore, I know they're quite secure. Now, the, the glue might be visible for you and you're thinking, oh, that big white strip, but the glue does dry invisible. You, you can buy some other brands that actually do come invisible anyway, but don't be alarmed, that glue will actually dry clear. So tweezers are a must when you're applying full size. Tweezers are a must, and already you're opening your eyes and the difference is quite amazing. So you should be able to see much more fullness and a slight elongation and wing with that eye compared to Cherie's normal eyelashes that she has every day. And another thing is, Liquid lineup. So, like you said before, the trends on the red carpet, such a beautiful, you know, finished look. Don't you agree? Agreed. But it's often hard to do. I think it's. I personally am terrible at the winged eyeliner. So. I mean, if you look down for me, you can you can look down to the floor. You can see where the lash strip is. So sometimes, if you haven't got it perfectly onto the lid of the eye. Sometimes you can mask that by just using a bit of a liquid liner. It's a perfect way to hide it. Exactly. Plus it also just gives that fullness, I guess, to the lash and that classic Audrey Hepburn look as well. So with a the liquid, there's different styles from the pen, even to the pot, which of course you'd have to use with the little brush, which is quite easy as well. But today I'll show you the pen. And so adding the winged eyeliner, should we be doing it when we're wearing eyeshadow as well or? 
just alone. You can still do the, the liquid liner before you apply the, fa uh, the false lash, mm -hmm. just to get that line. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's easier for a guide, so when the lashes go on, you can see the line. But I prefer to do the liner as the finishing touch. So do all the eyeshadow, you know, smoke up the eye if you need to. I mean, today you're wearing this a very simple beige on the lid, and the lash is giving that volume and that, you know, um, that fullness that we need. And my finishing touch will be the eyeliner, just to give that solid and fullness again to the lash. Beautiful. So if you close for me, there's no right or wrong whether you start inner first or outer first. It's whatever you feel comfortable with it, and obviously your own hand with your left hand and a right handed. But for me, I like to start on the inner corner. And very gently, it's almost like joining where the lashes join the skin, just on top. So if there's any little dots or there's anything there, you won't be able to see the join, basically. And then I like to go this way just to get the, the tick happening and right under the lash. Now the thicker you do that, the more the brush is on diagonal, so you get a bit more of a fuller line. Gorgeous. And that means now the lashes actually have a bit more of a base, plus the fullness of the lashes obviously increased. Beautiful. Thank you so much. No worries. Amazing, and I'm definitely going to wear this one, practice at home with the false eyelashes get myself a pair of tweezers. Lashes are in. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you.